Hello everyone, welcome back to the grind. Let's see what we can do today. Standard opening here. Nothing crazy. So far, so good. Brings a night out. Bring our night out. I could have maybe offered the bishop trade here on d3, but it's neither here nor there. Probably go h5 here. It's typically what I see. I'll probably go b5 since he's locked his uh, light square bishop in. I think I actually should have played b5 before playing h3. Just going for the pin, and then it forces his queen out, and then I could do this uh, Chad trick here. If I remember it, <laughs> I haven't practiced that trick for like two or three weeks, so I may not remember it exactly. <laughs> Let's see if I remember it. And I believe it's getting the, uh, the night out. I think it's getting the queen over here and then getting the knight to e5 if the queen protects c6. Let's see if I remember this. It's uh, a little fuzzy. Chad, if you're watching, I'm so sorry if I forgot this line. <laughs> Forgive me. It goes for it. Mm. It's his queen out. Kinda wanna let him take here just so I can go for this trick. I can always recapture with the pawn here. I'm really tempted to try the trick. But then I can't really get my knight out, so I don't think the setup is that good. Um yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. Now that his bishop is on d6. Hmm. I don't really want to lose the knight here either. Uh, I think I have to shift gears. I don't think the Chad Gambit's going to work here. One of the viewers uh, on this channel taught me this trick where you take with the queen and then you can well not take with the queen but uh well yeah you go a4 and then take the pawn with the queen which kind of causes a fork here and then you can fork um the queen with the knight if it ends up on d7 but i think if the opponent plays d6 it doesn't work Just pre move that. I wanted to get the bishop out because I think it'll force him to play f6 here if he takes, but if he doesn't, I can just scope the pawn. So, decides to not go for that. Be interessant. Maybe there is still a chance to play a4 here. Hmm. 
So a4. I guess the only problem that is if he takes. Well, no, I think it's still better. He might he might be looking to castle here. <clears throat> Maybe I should just castle while I'm here. I don't think this queen a4 is going to work out. Simply because of this knight and this bishop here. So I'm going to shift gears and just try to play more or less normal. I could still go a4 and like try to win the c6 pawn. That would only work if he doesn't protect with the queen, though. Hmm. That's actually, uh, I feel like, a fine move by him. I think it's okay, honestly. I'm debating between f3 and d3. Um, I do have a check here. He blocks it in. Let me think. No, I think if I go h5... He's either forced to block in with the knight or with the g-pawn. But if he goes with the g-pawn, I can just take with the knight and then take with the queen. Um, I don't think there's any downside to doing this, honestly. If he blocks in with the knight, I take with the queen and it's check and it's kind of gg from there. But if he just pushes the pawn up, which I think he's forced to, unless he doesn't want to move his... Uh, unless he wants to move his king, obviously, but then he's going to lose castling rights. So I'm going to try this h5 thing. <clears throat> I'm castled, my pieces are developed, minus the rooks. Well, one of the rooks, I guess. Uh, so I guess it's a fair time to sort of attack. The bishop's still protected here by the e-pawn, so I think, I think we're looking okay. Yeah, so this should just win a pawn. Now I'm attacking the rook. <clears throat> um, yeah. Maybe this is, maybe this is worse. No, I still think it's better, actually. Yeah, it's fine. Things okay. It's quite the pawn wall. <laughs> I will admit. So my queen's definitely going to get attacked, probably by his rook here. His king's in a really awkward spot. I guess I could go for the check. Hmm. I don't know if the check is worth it here on g7. It's kind of a useless square. His king is probably just going to go back over here and it's like, am I really gaining anything? And then I'm kind of just boxing uh, the queen in. So I think I'd rather like prepare some center advancements here. Hmm. I'm just wondering if it's better to open up something like C or E. <clears throat> when I say open up, I mean, is it better to move? the A rook to C or the F rook to E. I think for now we'll just do this.
It's like a Tetris piece over here. <laughs> Never seen that before. Interesting. Probably a good a time as ever to start opening this up. Kinda blocked in my queen with that move. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Kinda wanna bring the queen in here so I can go boom, boom. I don't think bringing the rook up is necessarily the play here. Get the queen out of harm's way. Yeah, I'll probably push the pawn up. I think maybe I should have just put a rook on the D file to kind of x-ray his queen here. That's fine. I have the check and a pawn here. Happily. I could also just take a rook and give him the check. That would be something. I'll actually... Do I want to go for the rook? Yeah, I do. How much way do I want to go? I think this way, right? That queen h5 move was really sick. Okay. I guess I could bring the rook up here. <clears throat> um, I'm like two moves away from uh, pinning his queen. Yeah, I can go pin his queen. He'll just block. So I do have another check here. Uh, if I go here, he's going to block, but then... I mean, I can just start cleaning up these pawns, honestly. I have the check here. I don't think it's as strong. Um, I'd rather just go for the pawns. Or do I? I don't know. I also have a check here. I don't know. Free stuff is free stuff, so whatever. Uh, I could pin his queen here with uh, rook e7 on the next move if he doesn't move his king. And even if he unpins it with the rook, I'll just trade rooks off and then just start scoping more pawns. Yeah, queen h5, queen g6 was, or the knight on g6 was pretty sick. It seems like in the London system, when the opponent gets their bishop out here and 
locks it in with the pawns. It seems like that's a very good thing for the London system. Someone will probably correct me on that, but it's just an observation. Well, there's check. Uh, I kind of want to bring the rook out at this point. Or do I? Hmm. I want to bring the rook out or just continue to take pawns. Seems like bringing the rook out is a good thing here. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't think it's the worst thing. I mean, I have more free stuff, so why not take it, I guess? I guess pawn is pinned. I could probably try to maybe abuse that here. The F-pawn, really. I think he's looking to do this kind of maneuver. I have to be careful here. He was kind of lined up. Don't want to get too comfortable. Maybe I could have just pushed B4. Probably would have been okay, but, you know. I don't think he can add another defender to this square. If I go rookie six. Could defend it. I don't know. Kind of like rookie six better. He can't add another defender to that pawn. That's the problem. Honestly, there was probably some better combination of moves here, but I still feel like we're doing okay. I have the check here. Also, do just attack his queen. It's going to force his queen to move. I don't know. Seems okay. Or maybe I just lost a piece here. No, I actually think I just lost a rook. That was a bad move. If he retakes with this queen, well... Anyways, uh, yeah, he could have won a rook there. I kind of blundered. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Well, 
that was a very interesting game. Let's take a look at this post-game statistics and all that. 86.4, 68. Yeah, I blundered that last move. Yeah, because if he took, we trade off and he basically just won a rook. So I kind of messed up there, I guess. Yeah, I yeah I messed up on this last move. D6. I forgot that the king and the queen were both attacking this rook. So he had one more attacker than I had defender. So that was definitely a blunder. But uh, I want to see what the first great move was. Yeah. That was a really good move. Yeah, once you push uh, F6 to try to attack the knight, it opens up this really nice light square diagonal that the queen uh, sort of can get to from the starting square on D1. So, yeah, GG. El Walid 21 from Egypt. GG. Thanks for the game, and see you guys in the next one.